What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome back to Apple Informed. And today Apple just released iOS 12.1.3 to the public here. So I have it installed on my iPhone 10s Max. If we jump into settings, you can see that the build number is 16D40, so it does not end in a letter. So we do know that this is a final release of iOS 12.1.3 and this build does differ from beta four. So if you are on beta four, you can go ahead and update to uh, this different build number here and you should have a lot more bug fixes in this release. So this is a very, very uh, crucial update in my opinion because I've never seen a software update in a while from Apple that has this many bug fixes. So in this video, let's go ahead and I'll talk about every bug that Apple fixed in iOS 12.1.3. So the first one is in Safari. Now, this would happen every day and I would get so frustrated because it's such a crucial part of iOS, searching something on the web. Whenever I would open Safari and start typing uh, words in the search bar, the keyboard would completely stutter and it would catch up about a second later, but the keys would stop having this animation and uh, nothing would respond in Safari as I was typing. This has been fixed now and I am very glad it has been fixed. It was very annoying because I think Safari is probably the second most used application on my phone. So when Safari doesn't work well, it's not going to be a fun iOS experience and I'm very happy that Apple fixed uh, the keyboard stutter issue in Safari in iOS 12.1.3. Another fix that they did include in this update is in messages. So when you are scrolling through your photos inside messages, before it would stutter. Now this was very, very frustrating to me because I figure I have the latest phone, I have the iPhone XS with the A12 Bionic chip. You'd think scrolling through photos would not be a hard task, but it would always glitch out and sometimes my messages app would even crash. And uh, this has been fixed in iOS 12.1.3 and uh, I'm very, very thankful that Apple included this in the update today. Another bug that is not on the iPhone, but it is for iPad Pros, is when you are streaming audio to an external speaker, in this case, uh, the HomePod is also affected, there could be some delays and audio distortion between the device and your iPad. This was very annoying because like I said, all these bugs I have encountered on a day-to-day -day use base. So on my iPad, I was streaming to my HomePod and the audio would be really weird and distorted and when I would hit the pause button to pause my music, sometimes it would take three or four seconds to connect to the HomePod. So if you have that issue on your iPad Pro 2018, simply install iOS 12.1.3 and it will fix that bug. And finally, one more bug that Apple did include in this update today is for CarPlay. Now, I don't have a car that has CarPlay, but I was recently on vacation and I had iOS 12.1.3 installed on my phone at the time. I think it was iOS 12.1.3 beta two, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, the bug that was fixed is CarPlay would just randomly crash on uh, iPhone XR, XS, and XS Max devices. This has been fixed in iOS 12.1.3. It was very, very strange. My phone was plugged into CarPlay in our rental car when we were in Anaheim, and uh, CarPlay just completely crashed and it just went out to the regular uh, Ford Entertainment uh, system screen. And uh, it was very weird. It wasn't like Apple. Usually, whenever they implement software like that, the implementation is a lot better. So I am happy that they did include this fix in iOS 12.1.3. Um, there are no user end features, just a lot of bug fixes. I'm completely fine with this. I think this is gonna be the most uh, stable version of iOS 12 to date, and I think every version of iOS 12 after this is going to be perfect because there are so many bug fixes in this release. I did do a, a Geekbench test before and after updating. So here is uh, before, if I click on CPU, uh, this one was from 1051, uh, 4829, and uh, 11,516 and after updating, uh, it went down a little bit. So whenever the score fluctuates a little bit, uh, you have to take account the test is not always exactly the same. There are uh, you know different use cases and different uh, alterations in the test. So whenever the score alters by about 100 points, it doesn't really matter. It's when we start seeing jumps by maybe 500 or 600 points that you should be alarmed. But iOS 12.1.3 uh, doesn't really affect performance. You're not gonna notice anything on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, just because the multi-core uh, multi score dropped a little bit, uh, that's not really cause for concern here on your device. So guys, that is iOS 12.1.3. In my opinion, a fantastic update today. It fixes so many glitches and my phone feels fast and fluid once again. So tell me in the comments down below if you installed it, tell me your experience with this software update. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Michael with Apple Informed and I'll see you in the next video.